date. Or wait, is it Monday? I don't have a day job. Hey guys, it's time for another DIY Damn It Quickie. And because last week was not so quickie, we're gonna be fast today, I promise. I am joined by my sidekick, Nugget Hughes, who is wearing his special costume today, a clothespin on his collar. <clears throat> And we are going to show you how to make these days of the week clothespins for all your organized business, office needs, etc. Let's do it! Okay, so I got this idea from this item I saw at Anthropology, which I didn't buy because I don't have a million dollars. And as you guys know, everything in Anthropology is a million dollars because it's high quality. Okay, all you're gonna need for this craft is clothespins. Clear nail polish, cool colored markers. Optional items include magnet sheet, glue, some type of string or yarn. Woo! And scissors. clothespin and you're gonna paint clear nail polish on it. This is to prevent the marker from bleeding into the wood on the clothespin. Like this, which is one of my first attempts. And I just don't know why, sometimes I don't think of things, but we can't all be perfect and that's why I'm making this video. I mean, every time I think I've got it, I can't just. Let's move on. As soon as your nail polish dries, you can write whatever you want on your clothespins. You can do days of the week, you can do to-do lists, whatever helps you organize, or whatever's important to you. And for me, that's margaritas, because you can't ever have too many margarita recipes. Am I right? See, I am. So just like that, you're done. You have your little guys, and you're ready to go. An option for you guys, if you'd like to hang these on your fridge, or your message board is to use magnets. To use a magnet sheet, you cut out a specific size. For these, it's gonna be pretty narrow, and you're gonna glue it onto the back of your magnet. Clothespin. Another good option is hanging a string above your desk and putting these clothespins on that. Uh, you gotta love a good place to hang. For me, that's the mall, because I really like those chicken teriyaki samplers you get in the food court. And then you've got all those fake hair kiosks. It's like heaven. That's it, you guys. We will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make. 